welcome to my channel creative art i am nilima and today we are going to do our first palette knife painting as this was a long awaited request so i definitely bought the kit and made my first palette knife painting to be true friends it was a really really fun doing this painting you just simply have to pick up some color using the palette knife and place it gently on the canvas and easily you will be able to make this kind of beautiful palette knife painting yourself so friends do watch the complete video and do subscribe my channel friends to watch more creative art painting videos and do press the bell icon to get notifications for each video i post every week to make this painting you're just going to need three things the first one is camel artist heavy body acrylic color the second one is a canvas board so i have used a 18 to 10 inch canvas board and the third thing is a palette knife so i have used this three different type of palette knife if you are a beginner just one would be enough for you I'm going to mention all the links in the description box below so that you can buy them online and also know all the details about this painting. So let's start now friends. This time for my base I have decided to reuse one of my canvas boards from my pore painting and we are going to use a 18 to 10 inch canvas board. So this is the one we are going to reuse and this is the one I'm going to use as a palette for mixing my colors. So first of all, we are going to do the background color and then lay a base or a structure for the painting. And I'm going to mix the titanium white artist acrylic color with a little bit of yellow. So let's take it here. And then using the yellow light. Mix them using a brush and you'll get a light yellow color. Add and mix the colors according to your need. So this is the color we need for our background. So I'll start coloring our base. Our base is dry and complete so I'm going to take just a little bit of white and add some black to make gray. Okay, it looks good and I'm going to color this part. I've done a very simple drawing which is placing a jar on a table so I'm going to color the table as gray. I'm going to take white a little bit more and add just a little bit of yellow in it and mix both of them together to obtain a very off-white color but also a bit of light yellow and a little bit of more white. Here I'm using the palette knife number four and now we'll be simply placing or scrapping some paint on our base in this way And then in my palette, I have taken sap green, light yellow, and just a little bit of white. So first of all, I'm going to do is, I'll spread the green in this way. Whatever is in my brush, I'll again spread yellow in this way. And try to mix this both colors. Take a little bit of white. And just keep it ready for whenever I need it. Mix it with sap green in this way. Now take the color in this way in your palette knife. Okay, I'm using the shape of palette knife. And then place it the way you want it to be.
will need more of sour cream. Now I'm going to mix yellow with sap cream and we'll get a light color. This is how the color looks. Now this time I'm going to take more of yellow and a little bit less of the sap cream color. Mix them both very well. I'll have a little bit more of white, yellow, and sap cream. I actually wanted to make this jar before I painted the leaves but I don't know how I just started with the leaves so now I'm going to make a glass jar I'm using white in my palette I'm using a round hair brush number two I'm going to mix white with light blue and do the borders. Now after making the jar, I have decided to make few stems which should look partially visible from inside the jar. So I'm going to use a combination of sap green and yellow. Mixing it with white will do some light colors first and then we can make them dark. Now after doing the light, I'm going to use a little bit of dark for the sap green. This is just the exact opposite of the first step for the leaves we have done. For the leaves, I have used the sap green color which was the darkest for the leaf first. Then mix it with light yellow to make the color a bit lighter than the sap green. So we got the mid tone which is this one. And then finally mix a lot of yellow in sap green and also use a bit of white to create the next shade which looks like this. And finally use a lot of white with the same color and we have got so many light colored leaves. So if you do this you will get a three-dimensional look with a natural looking leaf which you want so the same thing I'm doing for the stems inside the bottle but this time we did the light color first and then we are going to do the dark one I 
I think these many stems are just enough and dry. I'm feeling that the gray in the bottom is too dark so I'm going to light it up and make few palette knife swipes to make it look more lighter. I think I should definitely use a brush. I think this color looks much better than before. Now friends, we have finally completing doing the background, leaves, the glass jar and the table. So now finally, we are going to make our flowers. And for that, I'm going to use Artist Acrylic Heavy Body Colors, Titanium White, Yellow and Pink color. So first of all, I do want to create a creamy off-white color using white and yellow. So I'll take a lot of white. A little bit of yellow and pink on the side first of all what you have to do is use your palette knife here I'm using number five and lay down the pink in this way you surely have a little bit of pink in your palette knife use the same pink and start mixing yellow white and pink mix the color completely so here you have got a peach kind of color I'm also going to need a little bit of white here. Now using my palette knife, I'll scrape the color I need. First of all, lay the color in this way. Take a little bit of color from this side. I'll also have a little bit of white and pink. I do want to start from here. some more of pink and white I think most of the flowers are done now. Now after making all the flowers, I just want to make few fallen petals on the ground and this is how you have to do it. Take some color in your palette knife and gently place it in this way. I'm also going to use some white. So now we will let it get dry for a few minutes and then we will start constructing the stem of the 
flowers. Now to make the stems I'm going to use a little bit of light yellow and sap green color and this time friends i'm going to use my brush just i'll take a little bit of sap green and then yellow and then this is how you have to do it take color in your brush and place it Now we have finally completed making the flowers. Now let's make a few stems. So here I have taken sap green and light yellow color and using a paintbrush I'm going to make the stems. So now friends, I'm going to make a few corrections wherever you can see here like these stems. I'm going to redo some of the glass parts and then I'll show you finally how does it looks when it is dry. Okay? So friends, this is how beautiful our first palette knife painting looks when it is finally completed. I have redone few parts as you can see in the painting. I have decreased the size of jar because as compared to the painting, the jar was looking huge. So I made it bit smaller. The process is the same as we made before. And I have also added this cute little honeybees which really suits this painting. And finally, this is how I have presented it in front of you. So this was a really easy and fun process. I really loved placing colors using just a palette knife. So friends, do give it a try, make it yourself and do tell me in the comments below how did you like my videos friends. And if you do like my videos, please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.